The very special inauguration taking place here in the French capital. It's 30 metres long and it's totally self-sufficient. The floating solar and hydro-driven catamaran called Energy Observer will be setting off for a six-year voyage on the high seas. France's energy minister and the mayor of Paris are both in attendance. France 24's Julia Seeger from our Tech 24 programme joins us now live from the riverbank in central Paris. Julia, tell us more about what's happening where you are. Well, the boat is about to be christened by the expedition's ambassador, well-known French environmentalist and minister of environmental affairs, Nicolas Hulot. And as the tradition requires, a bottle of champagne will be smashed against the boat for good luck. You can really feel here that people are genuinely moved by the inauguration of the Energy Observer. It's a project that has really attracted a lot of attention because of its scope, but also because of its goal. For six years, the Energy Observer will go around the world solely on renewable energies. It will stop in 101 ports and the goal is to showcase the effectiveness of clean techs but also that a cleaner world is indeed possible and julia uh, tell us more about the actual boat itself Well, it's an X-Racing catamaran that was completely refurbished to become a moving tech laboratory. There are 130 square meters of solar panels on the roof deck, two wind turbines, and it's also able to produce hydrogen from seawater through electrolysis. And the Energy Observer hopes to integrate other technologies as it goes around the world. It's a great project for the scientists who have developed these technologies because it enables them to get them out of the lab and test them in real-time conditions. It's also a great project project for uh, the scientific community at large because it's going to give them more insight into what kind of challenges lie ahead uh, to get to self-reliance through coupling energies. Julia Seeger in central Paris, thank you very much for joining us.